In this video, we're going to have a look at how do we solve linear equations to find an unknown variable where that a variable appears on both sides of the original equation. So if we've got an equation that has an unknown variable on both sides, the first step we need to do is to move the unknown variables onto one side and then solve the equation by rearranging and doing our inverse operations. Now our inverse operations are when we're adding, the inverse is subtracting. When we are subtracting, the inverse is adding. When we are multiplying, the inverse is dividing. When we're dividing, the inverse is multiplying. When we're squaring a number, the inverse is square rooting it. And when we're square rooting a number, the inverse is multiplying. So let's have a look at some examples of linear equations with unknown variables on both sides. So in our first example, we want to solve the equation 4p minus 40 is equal to 7, negative 2p plus 2. My first step is I need to simplify both sides of the equation before I can go ahead and move my unknowns to the one side. So to simplify, I need to apply my distribution to the right-hand side. So it'll be seven times negative two P and seven times two. So that's gonna to equal to four P minus 40 is equal to seven times negative two P plus seven times two. So 4p minus 40 is equal to negative 14p plus 14. So now that I've simplified my original equation, I can go ahead and collect all of my unknowns onto the one side. So at the moment, I've got negative 14p on the right-hand side and 4p on the left-hand side. And I want to move that negative 4p across to the left-hand side. To do that, I need to do the opposite of minusing 14p, which is going to be plus 14p. So what I do to the right-hand side, I do to the left-hand side. So that is then going to become 4p plus 14p minus 40 is equal to 14. So 18p minus 40 is equal to 14. So now I can go ahead and apply my inverse operations to get P by itself. So first of all, I want to get rid of minus 40. Opposite of minusing 40 is plus 40. What I do to the left-hand side, I do to the right-hand side. So 18P is equal to 14 plus 40. So my last inverse operation required is to get rid of the 18 times P. The opposite of timesing something by 18 is dividing it by 18. You need to divide 18 by both sides. So P is going to equal to 54 divided by 18. So P is going to equal to 3. So by simplifying my original equation, moving it across my unknown variables across to one side, and then applying a series of inverse operations, to get my unknown variable by itself, I can work out that the value of P in my original equation is equal to three. So let's have a look at a second example. So in this example, I wanna solve the equation seven, five A minus four in brackets, subtract one is equal to 14 minus eight A. So the first step I need to do is simplify my original equation. This is done by distributing my seven, five A minus four, by multiplying seven to both terms inside of my bracket. So then it's gonna become seven times five A minus seven times four minus one is equal to 14 minus eight A. So, and that's gonna to equal to 35 A minus 28 minus one is equal to 14 minus eight A. So 35 A minus 29 is equal to 14 minus eight A. So now that I've simplified my original equation, my next step is to collect my 
like terms onto one side. So to do that, I want to move the minus 8a from the right-hand side across to the left-hand side. To do that, the opposite of minus 8a is plus 8a. So I want to plus 8a onto both sides. So 35a plus 8a minus 29 is going to equal to 14. So 43a minus 29 is going to equal to 14. So now I can start applying my inverse operations to get my unknown variable of a by itself. The first operation I'm going to get rid of is minus 29. The opposite of minusing 29 is to plus 29. So plus 29 onto both sides. So 43a is going to equal to 14 plus 29. The last operation I need to get rid of is multiplying it a by 43. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I want to divide both sides by 43. So a is going to equal to 43, divide by 43. So a is going to equal to 1. So by simplifying my original equation, moving my unknown variables to one side, and applying the series of inverse operations, I can determine a in my original equation is equal to 1.